Tough in the playoffs. Who wants to keep playing? For four straight years now, the path to the 4A state football title has run through either Greenville or Fulton. Greenville won back-to-back -back titles in 2010 and 2011, while Fulton has won the last two in a row. This year looks like it very well could be the same. However, several teams think that they have a shot at keeping these two 4A powerhouses out of Cookville. A few teams that think they will have a say in the battle for the gold ball include the Knox Catholic Irish, Sullivan South Rebels, the Elizabethan Cyclones, the Signal Mountain Eagles, and one team everyone seems to be forgetting about, the undefeated Loudoun Redskins. And I'm pretty sure the Carter Hornets are feeling pretty good after their near miss with Fulton last week to close out the regular season. Several teams from out west in the mid-state also may have something to say about this year's 4A champion. Crockett County brings an undefeated slate to the dance. Along with Crockett, teams such as Pearl Cone, Marshall County, Tresvent, and even with a sub-500 record, the Giles County boys still may factor into all of this. And it all starts this Friday in Greenville on the hill at Burley Stadium as the Green Devils host the upstart Carter Hornets with their new football coach, Jeff McMillan, coming over from Fulton and bringing in tow with him a few defectors from the Blackbird backyard. For the first time in several years, the Green Devils will have to get focused early in the playoffs and assume they will be on the road for the second round, barring a monumental upset up in Sullivan County. Tune in this Friday right here on the BVD YouTube channel as the Greenville Green Devils welcome the Carter Hornets for round one of the 2014 TSSAA 4A football playoffs. Playoff time. Little playoff conditioning going on here for the Green Devils. Coming together. Who wants to keep playing? 